Biodiversity Net Gain is the new legislation which means that at the end of a development, the applicant must prove that biodiversity has been increased by 10% in order to get planning permission. Biodiversity Net Gain gives us a real opportunity to start to bank and create significant new habitat for nature. Biofarm was formed in response to the Environment Act 2021, which set out all of this biodiversity net gain legislation. And we were set up purely to be a biodiversity net gain partner for landowners, developers, and local planning authorities. So we, in essence, assist them through every stage of the process. I mean, essentially, Biofarm's client base is kind of three pronged. There's developers, who uh, ha may have already found out that they can't develop the site to the extent that they want to without having a deficit situation which then needs to be compensated by trying to find habitat delivery elsewhere. That's where Biofarm can help because we can link developers up with landowners who are prepared to offer up their land for that. A huge motivation for me is to help landowners who are struggling with um, maybe, you know, having unproductive land and farming not really pr providing them with an income anymore. So taking that unproductive land and essentially helping them to do what we now call biodiversity farming or green farming. They may have fields, individual fields or even field corners that are just not really productive. So for example, in this field, you might find that there's a bit over there where the soils are poorer. Um, and they, 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 they don't crop anywhere near as well as the rest of the field. Well, you can just carve that section out, put a fence around it, and then you can offer that up as a rewilding area. Through Biofarm, we support people to realise this income stream in a way that suits them and that, in a way that they can carry on with farming practices, but in a more sustainable manner. We need new mechanisms and new ways of doing things because literally in the last 50 years, we have spent millions and millions and millions on nature conservation. And we've, we've just about held the line, but actually, you know, but it, we, we sort of held a line of keeping things at, you know, just as they are, but we've not brought them back to the levels that they need to be. Our strategic objectives are quite simple. Firstly, we always put the environment first. That's the number one. It has to lead everything that we do. And rewilding linked with development funding uh, provides an opportunity to create fantastic new habitats, uh, replenish um, some of the lost habitats in the countryside, uh, allow some of these species a chance to recover, uh, all in a way that, that's actually uh, financially beneficial for the people involved in, in doing it. We offer a really fair transparent model for all stakeholders in the business, so for landowners, for developers, you know, in terms of the way that the biodiversity units are priced, in terms of the profit that the landowners can make from, from various transactions. It's all very transparent and honest and open. The amazing thing about biodiversity net gain is it's, the, it's an opportunity to think big, uh, to think at scale. Um, and that's what some of these species need. They don't need uh, five trees planted around the edge of development. They need something bigger and much more bespoke and much more targeted. It's ensuring that we have the best in class team, uh, people who have been involved in biodiversity, being involved in environmental concerns from the start. So in essence, it's building that team over time to ensure that we have the best people in house. So it requires a financial head, a legal head, uh, a technical ecological head, uh, a long-term management, practical management head. Uh, and that's why Biofarm has assembled the skill set it has, so that it can tick all of those boxes. I think for the first time, what the Environment Act has done is provided a value to biodiversity. And that value is higher than traditional forms of farming and so forth. So I think this is exciting. I think it's only the start. But it does have the potential to deliver and to deliver bigger than the old systems, which were all about convincing people to do something good rather than incentivizing them to do something good. We mean that a landowner can come to us and go, I've got this piece of land, you take it from here. 